Hi, welcome. This is Banani, and I have another lesson for you today. We're going to play a game, we're going to learn something new, and we're also going to sing a song. <coughs> so, um, for this activity, you're going to need some props with you, some activities, some objects. So I'm going to show you what I selected, but you need 10 little things. So we're going to play a game and um, the little things I picked, I have some dice, some dice, 10 dice. You could pick something like that. You could pick dry beans. I also might pick crayons. You could pick crayons because they're kind of small. And you'll need a cup, so a receptacle, some cup, some container, some container, and some small objects. You could even, if you wanted to, you could pick something like some food. You could pick grapes. So I have got 10 grapes here. Oh, I have nine grapes here. Hmm. Oh, well. Anyway, so we're going to tell a little story first. My story... Is about a special man who invented something and it's something very useful that you see every single day and I'll give you a little hint it involves the three colors red green and yellow and um, so we have red here we have yellow yellow and we have green in Spanish this is do you know what this is rojo very good and in Spanish, this is amarillo. And in Spanish, this is verde. Muy bien. And in Portuguese, what color is this? Do you know Portuguese? Vermelho. And this is amarelo. And this is verde. Verde. Very good. So it involves these colors. So can you think what this is if it involves these three colors? Something you see every day nearly when you go outside or on the bus? This is what our activity is about. Did you guess traffic light? Did you get traffic light? This is a traffic light. So it hangs down in fork intersection with four roads coming together, and it tells people when to go, when to stop, and when to go slow. So we're gonna learn about that. So the game works like this. I'm gonna tell you part of a story, and then I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna make a statement, and you guess true or false. And if you guess it right, then you put an object in your cup or your container, okay? And the idea is at the end, you'll count inside and see how many you have. And that will be how we play our game and learn at the same time. So the first part of the story is the man, he was an American that invented this way of having traffic lights come down and um, traffic lights be in the middle of the road and show you when to slow down and when to stop and when to go was named William. And his last name, I'm going to give you a hint. This is what his last name is. These are? These are his last name is this, this, these objects. He was, his name was Potts, William Potts. So maybe you said pans, but it was William Potts. That was his name. So let's hear the story about him by asking, by I'm making statements and you guessing true or false. Okay, so my first question. The first, the first statement is this, true or false? You don't need anything except for some objects and a cup to play this game, true or false? Shout it. True, right. So hopefully you put an object inside of that. Okay, the next, the next statement is this. The earliest traffic lights used gas and men had to change the signals and it was invented in London, England in 1868. Do you think that that's true or false? What do you think? Then I'll tell you. You guess. Okay, the answer is true. So if you got it right, put something in the cup. If you didn't, you'll have to wait till another, another answer that you get correct. Next question. The American man who invented the three colored lights was a fireman. That was his job. He was a fireman. Do you think that's a true statement or a false statement? The answer was, he was a policeman, a policeman. So if you got it right, if you guessed it was false, that was correct. But if you didn't, don't put, a, don't put an object in your cup yet, okay? We'll keep going. Question number four. William Potts 
<coughs> became a police officer at age 17. William Potts became a police officer at 17. If you think that's correct, cierto, certo, if you think it's correct, then you would say true. If you think it's false, say false. So here we go. The answer is true. He was 17. So if you said yes, put a cup in. If you said true. If you said false, you'll have to wait. Number five. The first four-way, three-color signal happened 75 years ago. True or false? Okay. The answer is false. It happened 100 years ago in 1820. 1820. So if you guessed right, it was false. Put another object in your cup and see how many you have. And we'll keep going. Okay, that first traffic light that was on all four sides with the three colors, the three colors, was in New York City. So is that true or false? The answer is false. It was in Detroit, Michigan. So if you got that correct, put, a, put, a, put an object in. If you don't, don't put an object in. Number seven, the lights before the three colors were just two colors, red and yellow. True or false, were they red and yellow? The answer is false. Do you know what colors they would have been? They were red and green. So people knew to stop and go, but they didn't know when that would happen. And so you still had a lot of accidents because people were going too fast or too slow. So it was still dangerous. So the answer was false. Number eight, this is a guess, because who knows this answer? I, don't, I didn't know this answer. Mr. Potts and his wife, Grace Baker Potts, had four children. True or false? What do you think? Okay. How many? I mean, do you think they had two, four children? They had four children. So if you got that correct, put a little, a little object in your cup. Uh, number nine, Mr. Potts' invention hung down in the middle of an intersection of roads, just like they do today. It was right in the middle. It, hang down. it hung down. Is that true or false? Okay. What's your answer? Okay. The answer is false. It was on a tower, and the policeman had to go up in the tower and use gas, and it was very dangerous, and sometimes they would have an explosion, and so it was a very dangerous job but it wasn't, in, it wasn't hanging down like we have today. And finally, finally, I can go online and learn more by searching out the first traffic light. True or false? I hope you got that one. Should be true because you can. You can go and learn online on your own and, and uh, um, learn more about this. But what you could do is you could start and... Play this video again later on with a family member or a friend and have them count and see who got more objects. And this time you will know all the answers. So you can have fun and please play that with someone else. So we're going to sing a song that I've written for this topic. And we're going to sing it first in English. And you need to stand up to do it. So I'm going to stand up here and do an activity with you. And we're going to imagine we're driving fast and running fast at the same time. Okay, so this is how our song goes. When the light is green, I go, go, go. I hope you're doing it with me. When the light is yellow, I go real slow. When the light is red, I stop in my tracks and I wait. And I wait, and I wait, till the light turns green and I step on the gas, vroom. Did you like that? Let's sing it again. When the light is green, I go, go, go. When the light is yellow, I go real slow. When the light is red, I stop in my tracks and I wait. And I wait. I'm so bored. I wait. And I wait. Till the light turns green and I step on the gas. 
Very good. Now I'm going to sing the song again in Portuguese, and then you can listen to the other links I have on my Banani and Me Facebook, um, Banani Me Facebook channel, and you can hear one of it in Spanish with a different tune, and one of it in the language Quiche from Guatemala in, a di in another different tune. So listen to this song and see if you can move along with me, and I'm going to sing it in Portuguese. Okay, ready. <coughs> Quando o farol fica verde, eu vou, vou, vou. No farol amarelo, devagar, eu vou. No farol vermelho, eu paro assim. E espero. E espero. E espero Até a luz fica verde Então vou, vou, vou Vum! Very good, very good So, find yourself A friend or a parent And a container And some objects And then you play this again And see how many questions they got And maybe you got more questions correct Than they did Anyway, thank you for listening to today's lesson. Ciao for now. And remember, when you see the symbols, you're now no, going to know what your parents are supposed to do if they're driving. Or if you're an adult and you're driving, you're going to know to stop, slow down, and go because of the way the traffic lights are. So thank you, Mr. William Potts, 100 years ago. Job well done. Ciao for now. <laughs>